We've talked about models and we've talked about migrations. We've even seen how to use migrations. In this lesson, we're going to wrap up with the model part of the application, which is everything that has to do with the database. Let's talk about factories and seeds. In some applications, when you're developing, you need some dummy data or fake data in your database so you can actually get started with it before actually being able to build your application. That's exactly what factories and seeds are for. So to create a factory, we're going to run php at sun, make factory and the name of the factory. So this is going to be to do factory. Okay. So if we go to the database factories folder, you can see we have a to do factory right there. Now let's look at the user factory for an example. What does this do? This defines a factory. So look at this factory define for the app slash user class. And this right here is the same as writing app user. Okay. So you can just put a string that represents a path to the class, which is the model, or you can also do it like this. This is automatically going to give you the string version of this class. Then it defines a function. And what this does is it defines an array that generates fake data that we can use to put into our database. For example, in this case, we have a name field in the user's table. We have an email field. We have an email verified at field. We have a password field and a remember token field. So when we run the user factory, it's going to use Fika, which is a package used to generate fake data. And you can see right here, use Fika generator. So it's going to generate a fake name. This is also going to generate a fake, unique, safe email. This is going to generate the current time, which is now. This is a helper function that Lavo provides. Then it's also going to pass in this password, which is the hashed version of secret. So that's what we're going to do in our to-do factory. So here we need to pass in the model class, which is app to do. And that's the name of our model. So app to do class. Then we need to return a name. And this is going to be faker and we can give this anything. We can call it words or maybe word or even sentence. So there's a lot of functions that we can use with faker. So we can say faker sentence and we can maybe say this sentence should have just three words. Next, we need a description for this to do. So we're going to say faker and we can do paragraph or maybe paragraphs or you know we can just stick to paragraph and just say this should have four sentences then we can also provide for the completed and we can say this should be false okay now we have the name description and completed fields right here so this is our factory that we are going to use to generate fake to do's now how do we use this factory we use it in a cedar so if we come to the seeds folder we have a database cedar.php right here and we need to seed the data into the to do table so we are going to create a cedar for the to do table so we're going to say php at sun make seed to do cedar and it says the cedar has been created successfully so if we look at the to do cedar it's simply a class with a run method. So what we do is that we come to the database cedar and in the run method of the database cedar, we call the to do cedar. So we can say this call the to do cedar class. And what Lavo would do is it's going to call the run method in this to do cedar class. Now in this cedar class, we need to call our factory. So we'll call a factory method that Lavo provides, which is going to take the name of the class. In this case, we can just pass in app slash to do, or we can use the notation we've been using from the onset, which is app to do class. And then we call a create method. And this is going to generate one instance. So what's going to happen is it's going to create one by calling this function that has been provided right here, you know, generate a, a name, generate a description and set completed to false. This method is going to help us create 
want to do. But if we want to create more, we can pass in the number we want to create right here. So in this case, we want to create 10 to do's using our factory. So it's going to do this 10 times using our cedar. So to create our cedar, we generated a seed class. Then we call that seed class in our database cedar class. And then we have our factory ready. And now to seed data to our database, we can run a command called php addison db seed. And now you can see it says database seeding completed successfully. So let's go to our database, give this a refresh, and then check out the content. And you can see we have 10 different records right there. It has a name, which is some fake data. It has some description, which is some fake text. And then we have the completed set to zero as we set the default. Okay. So we can use factories and CDAS to be able to put fake data into our database so that we can actually use during our development process. So just to recap, first you can use the PHP addsan make factory command to generate a factory. Then here you need to pass the attributes that you want saved to the database. So we have name, description, completed. And then next, you create a seed file and this seed file calls the factory function, passes the name of the model and the number of records you want to generate and then calls the create function. Next, you come to your database seeder and you call the seed file right there. So in this case, to do seeder. Then you simply run php add seed to seed your database with data. 